English for teachers. Storytelling for teachers. Story one. Sharpen your axe. Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddika. Hope you're bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today I want to tell you a story called Sharpen Your Axe. So let's begin. Tarek, a woodcutter, worked for a company for five years, but he never got a raise. The company hired Bill. This caused resentment in John, and he went to his boss to talk about it. The boss said, "You're still cutting the same number of trees you were cutting five years ago." We are a result-oriented company that would be happy to give you a raise if your productivity goes up. John went back, started hitting harder, and putting in longer hours, but he still wasn't able to cut more trees. He went back to his boss and told him this dilemma. The boss told John to talk to Bill. Maybe there is something Bill knows that you and I don't. John asked Bill. How he managed to cut more trees, Bill answered. After every tree I cut, I take a break for two minutes and sharpen my axe. When was the last time you sharpened your axe? This question hit home like a bullet, and John got his answer. Hope you liked my story. Next time, I will tell you another beautiful story. Till then, I love is. Story two: Negative people. Hello, everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddika. Hope you are bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called Negative People. So, let's begin. An eagle's egg was placed in the nest of a prairie chicken. The egg hatched, and the little eagle grew up thinking it was a prairie chicken. The eagle did what the prairie chickens did. It scratched in the dirt for seeds. It clucked and cackled. It never flew more than a few feet, because that is what the prairie chickens did. One day, he saw an eagle flying gracefully and majestically in the open sky. He asked the prairie chickens, "What is that beautiful bird?" The chickens replied, "That is an eagle. He is an outstanding bird, but you cannot fly like him, because you are just a prairie chicken." So the eagle. Never gave it a second thought, believing that to be the truth. He lived the life of, and died a prairie chicken, depriving himself of his heritage because of his lack of vision. What a waste! He was born to win, but was conditioned to lose. Hope you liked my story. Next time I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Story three. Winners versus losers. Hello, everyone. Greetings. This is Aisha Siddika. Hope you're bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to give a presentation on winners versus losers. So, let's begin. The winner is always part of the answer. The loser is always part of the problem. The winner always has a program. The loser always has an excuse. The winner says, "Let me do it for you." The loser says, "That is not my job." The winner sees an answer for every problem. The loser sees a problem for every answer. The winner says, "It may be difficult, but it is possible." The loser says, "It may be possible, but it is too difficult." When a winner makes a mistake, he says, "It was wrong." When a loser makes a mistake, he says, "It wasn't my fault." A winner makes commitments; a loser makes promises. Hope you liked my presentation. Next time, I'll give another beautiful presentation. Till then, Allah Hafiz.